So my name is Barry Johnson. Um, I'm a lecturer and chocolatier here at the London South Bank University at the National Bakery School. Uh, we've been hosting the International Chocolate Awards this week, which has been a fantastic experience, not only for myself uh, being able to judge, but also um, for our students helping and getting to taste some of the best chocolates in the world. Um, so many people know my speciality is flavoured caramels, having won the gold in the World Awards last year. Um, I've been judging some of those and it just happens today that I've also been teaching our students here how to make um, salted caramel and also flavoured caramels. Um, so we've done a few different things, we've tried some different fruits and combinations um, in that process uh, to get the students to try and understand flavour matching between milk and dark chocolate and which kind of uh, chocolates that goes best with. Um, so a few little tips. Um, First tip, I think I always, um, or nearly always, use a direct caramel for my caramels. So sugar straight into a nice hot pan. Add some glucose to make sure the caramel doesn't um, uh, crystallize. And that also gives you a fantastic flavor um, in your end caramel. Um, I also use whipping cream because I find that you get a nice um, thinner caramel. I find double cream is a little bit fatty um, on, the, on the taste. Um, and then when you go to fill your moulds, make sure you don't overfill them. Um, so we've got an example here, so nicely filled just with a, um, a couple of millimetre gap at the top. So when you come to finish the chocolates and cap them off, um, you shouldn't have any, any leakage around the edges.